Two U.S. Navy destroyers armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles are in position and ready to be called into action, among other assets including jets and submarines should President Donald Trump make good on his threat to order a military strike on targets in Syria. Trump caught most of his aides and the Pentagon off guard on Wednesday by declaring on Twitter that nice and new and smart missiles would soon be fired toward Syria an announcement that came before an agreement had been reached between key U.S. allies, multiple American and Western officials said. Top military officials were at the White House on Wednesday afternoon to discuss options for Syria, according to senior aides and a decision on how to respond to the weekend's chemical attack had not yet been made when Trump took to Twitter people familiar with the discussions said. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders insisted Wednesday that a missile strike remains one of the many options on the table and said the president's tweet does not complicate the planning of a U.S. response. Defense Secretary James Mattis said Wednesday that the U.S. is still assessing the intelligence on the recent chemical attack but noted that the U.S. military is on standby should Trump give the order for a strike. We stand ready to provide military options if they are appropriate as the president determined, he said. Mattis also ignored a question about whether he was concerned about telegraphing U.S. military moves in Syria, a question appearing to refer to Trump's earlier tweet on Wednesday. Did Trump tip his hand? Trump's tweet could force military leaders to modify their analysis related to targets, timing, and teamwork, according to CNN military analyst John Kirby. Satellites and other U.S. intelligence aircraft are watching closely for signs that Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad, as well as Russian units are using the advance notice to move aircraft, weapons, and personnel out of the way of a potential attack. However, warning of an imminent strike could force U.S. military officials to modify their list of potential targets which could range from airfields or chemical storage sites to locations in Assad's backyard of Damascus depending on the intended message. It is possible that strike packages and potential targets should be adjusted based on what you see on the ground, Kirby said, noting that both the Russians and Syrian regime have been given plenty of indicators as to the type of strike the U.S. may be considering. Targeting air defense systems or locations closer to Damascus would send a stronger message but would risk more casualties as well as increase the chances of escalating the conflict, he added. Russia and Syria quickly responded to Trump's threat on Wednesday. Syria's foreign ministry said it was not surprised by the US reckless escalation via Trump's tweets, the state-run news agency Sana reported, while Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said in a Facebook post that smart missiles should fly toward terrorists, not the legal government that has been fighting international terrorism for several years on its territory. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Wednesday that Russia hopes all parties involved in Syria will avoid any steps that could significantly destabilize an already fragile situation. Peskov added there were no plans for Putin to call Trump, French President Emmanuel Macron or UK Prime Minister Theresa May amid the crisis. The US did provide Russia with advance warning via military channels shortly prior to the April 2017 missile strike on the Syrian air base believed responsible for a previous chemical weapons attack. That warning was made to avoid casualties among Russian military advisers in Syria. Despite the advance notice, Russia made no effort to shoot down the American miss, 